Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom, sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Jillian Andrews. We are teaching you smart ways to manage your money and joining us now with expert advice is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and senior partner at Johnson Brunetti. Eric, thanks for being here. Great to be here. Good morning. All right, today we are unpacking why an estate plan needs to be part of your retirement plan. First, having clear instructions can ease the burden on loved ones. Yeah, so an estate plan can be an all-encompassing kind of, do you need a will? I believe everyone needs a will. I think you should hire an attorney to do it as opposed to doing it yourself on the internet. You need a will, but then beyond that, you need a health care directive. What if I get sick? You need maybe a power of attorney later on in life. We deal with this all the time with people that are very clear at 60, even 70, even 80, but at some point, like you're gonna need that support and you wanna make these decisions when you have control over it. So don't just think trusts are for rich people, you have to do estate planning. Yeah, speaking with someone live, obviously this is a difficult topic, so that will help too. Now next, having this plan in place can actually protect your beneficiaries. There's also that, it's that, you know, people say, well, I'm gonna bounce the check to the funeral home and I didn't save this money to make my kids rich and I appreciate that and I think you should spend your money and enjoy life that, you know, you worked real hard for it but you're probably not gonna spend all your money. And even if you did, you still probably have a car and a house and a vase that means a lot to you. So think about this stuff because, you know, you don't want a truck with a dumpster getting backed up to your house and everything getting pitched in there. Cause some of you listening to this, who don't have a will, did it for your parents. So, you know, do it. Yeah, give you peace of mind, right? Yes. All right, our third bullet here, it will prevent uncertainty or dilemmas about your wishes. I see lots of things I've seen, and I'm not an attorney, financial planner, but I've seen people with three kids that only want their money to go to two kids, or they don't want it to go to their kids, they want it to go to their grandkids, and they don't want it to go to their kids at all. They want it to go to a, a church or a school or a horse. It's yours, this money that you saved in this life that you built. So have you know what you want to have happen happen, and that's what estate planning is. All right, and lastly, estate planning can help reduce state and federal inheritance or estate taxes. It could potentially eliminate some of these taxes if you do this plan. So I know, you know, as you get into higher net worth and, well, it's going to cost me this money to do this planning, it might save you enormous sums of money to do this planning. And then also ongoing, you have to meet from time to time, maybe every five years, as things change. Because even if your life hasn't changed, that doesn't mean the laws haven't changed. So you want all the work you've done to do what you wanted to do. All right, no one can argue with spending or giving less money away, right? Yeah. All right, now you have a book offer for our viewers. We do, it's called The Greatest Gift, and it talks about this. It's a tough subject of estate planning because it's not necessarily the most fun thing to talk about, but they're important things to talk about. And a lot of people, you know, again, watching this will think of a scenario that happened with their parents, and geez, I wish they had done this, and now that's you, so do it. Um, and that's some of what this book, The Greatest Gift, talks about. So you can get it for free at moneywisdomtv.com. I encourage people to read it because I think it'll help you better understand this stuff. Yeah, lots to understand, lots to break down. That's moneywisdomtv.com. Eric, thanks for being here. Great to be here. All right, that will do it for this edition of Money Wisdom. For Connecticut's Morning Buzz, I'm Jillian Andrews. We'll see you next time.